hey guys it's with a very heavy heart that in this video I'm going to be talking about a good friend's passing and someone that you probably know of or maybe heard of or watched their channel but is our good friend and brother Topwater Johnny Johnny Campbell he passed away this morning of COVID and uh, I'm really sorry and want to just give him a little love and attention in this video and tell him tell you what happened because I know there'll be people that watch both channels and are going to be confused on what went what happened or what went on because you're not seeing any more videos from him on Wednesday or Thursday last week our, our good friend and person who watched both our channel Shannon direct messaged me on Instagram and said hey Steve can you find out what's going on with Johnny and even though Johnny and I usually fish on Thursdays and we hadn't fished in a little bit because of the the summer I reached out and you know texted him and said hey are you okay and later that night or maybe the next day his wife Kimberly his beautiful wife Kimberly texted me saying I just wanted to let you know Johnny's in the hospital with COVID which I then started to say some prayers and and asked if there was anything I could do to help her out and she said no he's gonna be he's gonna pull through this and we'll be all right uh, over the weekend Johnny got put into ICU because his his stuff obviously he got was getting a little bit worse but they were both still very positive and Johnny was even telling Kimberly to tell her yes yeah, Steve we're gonna go fishing soon unfortunately Johnny passed away this morning and if you didn't watch his channel you missed out you can still watch his channel you go to Topwater Johnny Bass Fishing is his, his channel I'll put a link below so you can go directly to it but Johnny was a motivational speaker and just a really good person. He wasn't just someone that I went fishing with. He was something, someone that I confided in and then had a great deal of respect for. He was one of these people that if, if he saw something that could help my channel, he told me. Just as well as if I saw something that could help his channel, I told him. And there's very few people that you can do that with. In YouTube, it's a really competitive thing. And Johnny and I had a relationship where it was always about a team. The team of him and I. Almost as like the team with myself and Mr. Bass. We try to help each other as much as possible. And Johnny was the same way. He was a motivational speaker. And while I'm going to miss him greatly, I always felt like every time I, I was with him that you could talk to him and afterwards you just felt like like he could do anything. Uh, he, he seemed to be able to motivate you just on the way he talked to you and how he approached you and just how approachable he was. He would tell you things that you did good and also he would he would tell you things that he didn't think you were doing good. But he always was, it was always a positive experience. He never had anything negative to say about anybody. I remember at ICAST this year, and this is one of the few smiles I'm gonna have for the day. At ICAST, I made fun of him because I believe ICAST was a, a super spreader for the COVID, COVID virus. But Johnny, who was unvaccinated, went there, wore two or three masks the whole week. I mean, every time I saw him, he had two masks on. He came to the, the whiteout event for tackle webs with two masks on, and I made fun of him because of it. But at the same time, I was happy he was wearing two masks because I didn't want him to get sick. Um, unfortunately, he did get sick. And I think his... And from what I understand, he was looking to go get vaccinated, but it just, you know, time constraints or whatever. And I want to make sure this is very clear. How you, if you want to get vaccinate, vaccinated or if you don't want to get vaccinated, it is your, it's up to you. You can do what you want. I'm not telling you to go. I'm not telling you not to go. Uh, I can tell you I'm vaccinated and I'm vaccinated because of my family. And to each his own. I have. I have no issue if you are, I have no issue if you aren't. I wish that Johnny was vaccinated and he, he was able to pull through this, but he didn't. And I'm gonna miss a lot of things about Johnny. It's not just the, the motivational speaking and how he treated everyone and how polite he was. It was the going around to ICAST and he needed to meet a bunch of people. And I said, oh, I know all these people, so just come with me and me introducing him to my friends and him introducing himself, to his friends, he would introduce himself me to his friends it was that kind of relationship it was give and take but it was always more 
giving than taking from me. And I always felt like we, we had made all these arrangements or thoughts and plans to go fish the Ritz Carlton here in Orlando, which has great fishing, or go to the Fab Five Lakes at Turkey Lake and renting up two boats and going and competing against each other in the morning, or, or just going to fish the pond that we fished every Thursday morning together, uh, or going even Bear Monday fishing. Those things that we didn't get to do, I'm going to miss. I'm going to regret not doing those things. It's funny because, uh, you know, you can to each his own about their, their personal preferences. And recently, my best buddy, who I've never talked about on the channel, his name's Billy. I've known Billy for, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. We bust each other's chops. We hate each other. We love each other. But recently, I've, had, I've told Billy, because he's had some issues, that I love him. I do love him. Uh, I love the friendship that we have and everything else. And I really wish I would have sat down and just told Johnny that I loved him. Not anything crazy. It's just that with the respect and the friendship comes, comes the love. So what I want you guys, if you could help me out, is you can do a couple things. I want you to go show Topwater Johnny Bass Fishing love on his channel. But also comment here if you were a fan of Topwater Johnny and you want to say something to his family. Because I'm going to make sure his family sees this video. And uh, if they have a service, I'll make sure that the words that you put in this in the comments are either given to the family or told to the family personally. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Today it's about Johnny and how how just how great he was as a person. He was a really really good person. I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here doing this video and I'm thinking, every time I saw Johnny, I brought him a package of lures. And then one day he said to me, I've got something for you. And I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. I've got so much crap, I don't need it. But he's like, you'll want this. And he had went out the week before and ordered a mega bass topwater bait because it was topwater Johnny. You know, he would never do anything that wasn't topwater. I couldn't make him throw a worm. For the love of God, I couldn't make him throw a worm. But uh, he bought me a Mont a Mega Bass topwater bait, and he's like, "This is the best bait I've ever used." And while I haven't used it, I think I'm going to put it in the collection of things that I just save forever. So, as I leave and uh, say goodbye, I just want to tell everybody I appreciate everybody, and you might not know me personally, but I'm sending my love to you, sending my thoughts, prayers, and loves to you. So, remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Thank you, Topwater Johnny. See you soon. Cheers.